What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hugo Strange, here one more time with the review of All Superheroes Must Die. I was sent this movie by For the Big Time. He wanted to know what I thought about it. And I kind of left it on my hard drive because I really wanted to watch it when I had nothing else that I could watch. Um, because those are usually the best times when I can really engage in a movie that I haven't seen before if there's nothing else on my mind. So, uh, I was coming home from Washington and that's when I decided to watch it on the train. And I have to say that this movie is incredible um, in every sense of the word. Um, so basically it tells the story of superheroes who are kidnapped and thrown into an abandoned town where they have to play a game um, constructed by the sadistic character of Rickshaw, played amazingly by James uh, Ramar, um, who you guys know as uh, Harry Morgan from Dexter. Um, he's really doing like this scenery chewing, smiling villain type thing, but he, he does it really great. This movie is really, really awesome, and I can really see like a limited comic book series coming out of this. The characters are really interesting, really good. Um, this is an indie flick, so it's working on a limited budget um, with a lot of things, but... That really doesn't matter because the story is interesting and engaging, the characters are awesome, and it's just all around a great movie. Like, I really enjoyed watching this, I really felt the tension, I really didn't know what was going to happen next, it was just fantastic. Like, I can't say enough good things about it. There have been a lot of indie superhero flicks coming out with Paper Man, Super, Kick-Ass, although Kick-Ass wasn't an indie flick, but still I'm counting it because it's, you know, just kind of the superhero renaissance that we're having nowadays. But this movie, I think, freaking nails it in terms of, like, giving us down-to-earth, realistic heroes that we can relate to, um, and at the same time putting them in a situation that is both comic book villainy at its best. This movie was freaking awesome. I cannot recommend it more. Um, and there's also, uh, um, I'm not even going to say it. I, I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to let you watch it. The, the, the downplay fact of this is the fact that you don't get to see any of the characters utilize their powers because their powers have been kind of taken from them. But you don't get a reference as to, you know, as to how good, how capable they were when they did have their powers. Um, and that's one of the other things, but I like the fact that you have this one moment where they kind of reference their powers in a way where it's, it would only apply to them. Um, it's kind of like if you have a character who's not familiar with pain, then when they do experience pain, they're going to be like, what, what the hell just happened to me? What is this? Or they're going to feel that a thousand times more because they've never felt it before. Um, so that... That is awesome. I think that's really cool and it really tackled something that I don't think has been handled in superhero comic books before or superhero movies. This movie, cannot say enough good things about it. Watch it. Trust me, you guys will freaking love it. Um, I don't know if it's available on DVD or anything like that, but still, watch it. It is a great movie. You will freaking love it. And that's all I have to say. I will see you guys later. If you have watched it, let me know what you think in the comments below, what you thought about it, and I will see you guys later. Peace.